Biggio to start and Bautista who threw and got the same. Must always do leading in the ninth. So Ryan McKenna and Brett Phillips remain. Or if Toronto ties the game, beg your pardon. It came, but it was up into right center. Mullins calling off Santander. And oh, he dashed in front of him at the last moment. Well, you just hold. But he got out of the way. Said, put it away. And now, strike one on the slider. But he'll spin that breaking ball from time to time. August the 9th. And he's still throwing 101. This one punched to second. Odor, whoa! Lost the grip. It is out of play. A base hit. That, but 0 for 3 tonight. Mm -hmm. Oh and 1. Oh, there's the good one. Oh and 2 for Guriel. Yeah. Got him swinging! Own power. And Biggio to start, and Bautista, who threw and got the six, to always do, leading in the ninth. So Ryan McKenna and Brett Phillips remain. Or if Toronto ties the game, beg your pardon. It came, but it was up into right center. Mullins calling off Santander. And oh, he dashed in front of him at the last moment. Well, you just hold. But he got out of the way. Said, put it away. And now, strike one on the slider. But he'll spin that breaking ball from time to time. August the 9th. And he's still throwing 101. This one punched to second. Odor, whoa! Lost the grip. It is out of play. A base hit. That, but 0 for 3 tonight. Mm -hmm. Oh and 1. Oh, there's the good one. Oh and 2 for Guriel. Yeah. Got him swinging! Own power. And big dominant forces. Mm -hmm. Oh, and two. Guerrero to second. Of course, it's right to Odor. Trying to close things out. With Merrifield will lead it off. Merrifield is 0 for 3 to. a base hit to get it started. Hundred mile an hour fastball and struck out in each of his two at bats since. This has popped up into foul territory and it looks like it's playable for Mountcastle. In fact he's got plenty of room. One down. So the Blue Jays buck now to add to the numbers. Hopefully skin back and look at it because they are always pitching behind and it's different pitching behind than when you're started. And you might nobody can change this except the players. I mean they're the ones that got some defensive lapses as well. Up high three and one now on Springer general and they continue to have that conversation. But the players are the ones who are going to have to turn things around. In the dirt for ball one. And a hundred on the inside corner. One and two. Yeah, and the. Backhanded it short, the throw to second one, on to first for the double play that will end the ball game. Five innings have not hit a 
ball out of the infield since the third. Even the two hits they have since then, both. No two. And another ground ball to short. One down. In the third, that ended that inning. Oscar Hernandez is 0 for 3. A hundred and in there. Now the blue. Yeah, got to make some adjustments. The 2 2. And that will do it. Hernandez strikes out and the Orioles have beaten the Blue Jays again. He'll face 9 1 and 2. 102, but not for earned. That's fouled away. One inning, one run for Nick Vespi, and three hours ago. And a pop up here, Mount Castle trying to chase it down near the tarp. Oh, it's off his glove. Today, we haven't turned today into yesterday yet. There's the splitter, and it certainly July the 5th. And he gets Hernandez swinging. Have a good differential there. And he has it with that good arm action. Just awesome. Off speed, only Garrett Whitlock's been better. And that number on the bottom, just to give you some context, the major league average on from any single pitcher in Major League Baseball this season. That fastball cranked by Dahlbeck, who was somehow. Speed, I'm going to look foolish, but if I'm going to get the fastball, I'm going to be early. Went to the splitter there. That 102 doesn't get by me before I pull the trigger. So it's an injury. It's another split. A 3 2 from Bautista. Another fastball and drilled by Dahlbeck. Good grief, that is bat speed. You have a fighting chance, but uh, put a good swing on it. That's ball one to. Strike one right now, but a couple of losses out there in the wild card race. Verdugo pops it up. Mateo puts this game on the doorstep. We are getting close. Jaron Duran. Strike one. Oh, and one from Bautista. All be worth it with one more out. And now with one more strike. He hung it a little and Adley couldn't get two and two. A pop up from Durant in the center. Mateo and Mullins there. Mullins with a vocal call and catch. doing here this, this is pretty crazy first pitch swing as it typically is from Luis Robert and that Robert breaks his back ground ball to third foul well I... swung at that splitter strike three two down Jimenez fouled away yeah, and that's really their. I mean, I don't know. There's a splitter that's crowded foul off Jimenez with Pollock on the move. He'll retreat to first. 
Five pitches, five strikes for Felix Bautista. Just got a piece. 0 oh and 2 for him. He overthrew it right back to Rutschman. Oh, what a fortunate bounce that was. That was a hundred and. Or is he going to go ahead and look for the fastball? Oh, he's drilled at 102. My goodness. You're the White Sox best hitter. That's strike one. Well, there you go. That, uh, <laughs> that takes care of that whole thing about him being uh, in a position where he might be a little out of one hit the zone. Oh, one. That's a hundred. Took a little more off. for something off speed here. Got the splitter in the dirt. Tired four times today. 2 1. Abreu pumps it foul. 2 and 2. Bases full of socks. Two run game. 3 and 2. What a take by Abreu. Start the merry go round on 3 2. And Abreu goes down swinging. 1 1 above the zone. And the White Sox just could not skate. The Orioles have left two. And Felix Bautista starts the ninth with a strike. And the problem is. 0 for 3 otherwise. Carlos Perez, who's still yet to make his debut. That is a called strike for Moore. James Hoy behind the plate. And now a towering fly into center. That's out number one in the night. Well, that was a big pitch because they will have to chase pitches out of the zone when they make their mind up sooner. Andrew Vaughn, a hitter with elite bat speed, goes the other way, and that is. That's a slider to get ahead 0 and 2. 0 and 2. Still no chance. Got him on a splitter. And the O's are on the door. Almost hitting the ground as it comes in there. Just crazy. Crazy to tune it in time. 1 0. Tampa Bay has won. They do need to win. That's a strike for Andrews, two and one. Six from Bautista. One strike to go. A tapper to short. Mateo got it out of his glove late, but in time to secure the win. Sox are five and six. Sebi Zavala as the battery pops it up. This is a foul pop up. This is going to be trouble. Not for Rubnet Odor, and Harrison will hold. Now that's a. It's Adam Engel who dropped the foul pop up before the Stowers home run. And wouldn't you know it, he hits the ball right to Kyle Stowers. It's a beautiful game, this baseball. The assassin Gavin Sheets. Eight for 12 in the series as Sheets takes ball. Pop up a couple splitters up there, and he's going to hit a ground ball to third. But you also have the, you, you set up a four set. Sheets has just been absolutely on fire. Well, and you can throw. One and two. And he took the splitter this time. And Sheets. Got him on the splitter. I would just do that. The 10th. And we go to the 11th. Luis Robert. No swing. Wow. That's fair. Runner at second is Sheets. And Robert pops it out of play. Wall faced Felix on Tuesday. A slider, and Robert is able to lay it in. Once again, Robert ends up with. He does it on fastballs. Struck him out 101. 
Another one hand flourish. In contact or even a wild pitch. Abreu takes ball one. Abreu an RBI single in the eighth gave Chicago the lead. He rips a fastball to the net here. He's ahead here, one and two. Yeah, I, I love the fact that Paul. We did. In the zone for a fastball. Another splitter, he popped him up. Mountcastle is there. That is out number two. Abreu cut down. A ground ball up the middle. Odor is there. On to first. Two scoreless innings in extras for Felix Bell.